different types based on their characteristics. Let's start with a set of all real numbers. Real numbers are those that can be represented by points on a number line and include positive and negative values, they include fractions, and they include decimals. Within real numbers, we can break those down into two categories, rational and irrational numbers. Rational numbers are any number that can be written as a ratio of two integers. This includes whole numbers, negative numbers, fractions, terminating and repeating decimals. Irrational numbers, on the other hand, are those real numbers that can't be expressed as the ratio of two integers. These include decimal values that don't repeat or terminate, such as pi and the square root of values that aren't perfect squares. Coming back to rational numbers, we can break this down further into other subcategories. Within rational numbers, we have integers. This group is made up of positive and negative whole numbers, including zero. Integers can then be broken further down into the subcategory of whole numbers. Whole numbers is going to include our positive whole numbers as well as zero. We can break whole numbers down into one more subcategory called natural numbers. Natural numbers are frequently referred to as the counting numbers as they include all whole numbers one and greater. There is a category of numbers outside of the real numbers. These would be imaginary numbers. Imaginary numbers come from the square root of negative one. The square root of negative one is i. i is the imaginary number. The square root of any negative number is going to be an imaginary number. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching.